What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video by Trunk Fresh Green 34 and welcome to the return of Flashback Friday. It's been months since I've done one of these. I think I did one in April or I think it might have been March. I did it on Mrs. The King. Um, I was originally going to make one on Lizzie to, um, as kind of like a tribute to Catherine Hellman who passed away earlier in the year. Um, and then I was going to do one on Paul Valdez. But I ended up opening Paul Valdez in the Meg unboxing. And things just kind of fell apart with Flashback Friday. I do think I'm still going to do Lizzie. Um, at some point. I still want to do that. Probably before the end of the year. Um, but right now I'm kind of in a little bit of a break. I don't really have new stuff to review. So I figured why not do a Flashback Friday episode. Because it's been so long. So we're going to be reviewing these cars from 2010. These are the synthetic rubber tire cars for Nitro 8 aka Aiken Axler and Tanko aka Eugene Karbareski from Cars 1 from the final lap collection. I believe these are Kmart exclusives. They were for the K-Day event I believe because that's like how all the rubber tires were back in the day. But yeah I'm not going to be unboxing these because I want to keep them in the package. I already have the plastic tire ones loose. I don't really need to open these. Um, maybe one day I'll open the Aiken Axler, but as of now, I'm not going to open them. I'm not really that worried about it. Yeah, let's let's go over these guys. So, like I said, released in 2010 for the Kmart K-Days. Again, I think that's what they were for, Kmart K-Days. Um, and the final lap collection. I love the final art, or final lap artwork. So you've got the high-rise buildings, and you got like they're like drifting down like a highway. You can see the little chevron arrows. Got the RPM office building as well, which I love. That's one of my favorite aspects of it. Um, got the Disney Pixar Cars logo, 3 Plus up there. Got the Nitro 8 sponsor logo. Now, one of the cool things about the 2010 rubber tire cars is they uh, they all have their, continue, their sponsor on the card art, like the Nitro 8 one, which is really cool. Now it says synthetic rubber tires, got white text on the, you can see the black tr tire treads there that go across the card, looks really cool. Nitro Aid, number 28, um, this was before they started naming the Piston Cup racers, I believe, I think. Yeah, I don't think they started naming those till after this. Um, now the blister is very different from what we're used to because on the back, you can see right through, which is not common anymore, they don't do that anymore. But on the back here, we got the nice art of Aiken Axler again, Disney Pixar Cars, and then some legal information, Joking Hazard. Um, so this is what the legal information looked like in 2010, compared to the legal information of, what's a good example, of here's the Tile Crying Shields of like 2019. There's a lot more there, or there's a lot more here than there is there. So a lot more today than there was back then. You can see right through. Now, Aiken is not drifting on the back like he is right there, because you can see the tires coming out. So it's like he's drifting or he's burning rubber. Um, you can see like there's a little bit of blur there. So it is kind of like he's drifting. So it's like he's in motion. Whereas here, he's not. So yeah, I think it is supposed to be he's like drifting, because if he was burning rubber, it wouldn't be blurred. Because then, he, then he'd just be stationary, right? I could be wrong. But regardless, I do like that feature. Now let's look at Eugene Karbareski. Yeah, yeah, okay, so this here, I don't know what these were like, what these were. These were probably price tags that were torn off when I got them. So, a little unfortunate that they're not mint card, but I'll take what I can get. In Disney Pixar Cars, 3 Plus Mattel. I love, again, this background with the RPM office building, the chevrons, the highway. It just looks so good. And it's, I guess this makes the Blue Desert line look a bit more, um, I guess it doesn't make it look so wacky because the, the city's blue, you can tell. Like, look, why would the RPM logo that is yellow be all blue? Why would the sky and buildings be blue like that? So this is like Blue City, whereas the ones, the card backs today are Blue Desert. Um, interesting little connection there. Um, here we have the tank coat logo, soothes upset tanks. Again, I love that they put the sponsor logos there. Some awesome art of Eugene as he's drifting again there. Synthetic rubber tires with the tire trends. And then 
It says tank coat number 36. Again, he's not named. And I um, didn't really talk too much about the name tag. They are smaller. They don't go across the whole thing. And it's essentially a silver or a red arrow with silver outline around it. Very nice. On the back, you can see right through. You can see the other side. Some legal information. Disney Pixar cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then Eugene again up top. Now, one thing that I do like about this blister is that you can see the other side. So, when buying a car today, you can check this side for chips. But you don't know if there's chips on the other side, because you can't tell. Whereas on these, you can tell if there's chips on either side, which is really interesting, because you know, okay, I need to find a better quality one, essentially. I don't like how there's no other cars on the back. Um, again, I mean, this is, these are rubber tire cars, so I mean, I wouldn't really expect them to, essentially. I mean, I, I kind of do, but I mean, kind of don't at the same time. Because I believe the regular final lap cards don't use pictures. I think they just use, like, text boxes with their names. Oh, excuse me. Um, whereas this just doesn't even use the text boxes. They just have legal information, and that's it. Here's the barcode. Oh, and again, you can see the chevrons and some of the high-rise buildings there. And I love the, like, the color of the roadway as well. It's like a nice red, burgundy-ish color. But yeah, that is all for these guys on this second installment of Flashback Friday. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Kind of a nice change of pace compared to all the unboxings I've been doing. Um, what was he? One, two, three, four, five, six unboxings in a row. Very, very nice. Good progress, but, you know, I'm definitely nice to do something a little bit different. Do a Flashback Friday episode. Um, actually, real quick, I will go and bring in the regular versions of these racers. So here we are. We've got the regular versions of the racers with plastic tires. Um, you can see my Aikens just a little bit chipped, like on the white parts here. Actually, he's chipped in a few places. Um, so maybe I will open the rubber tire version one day. My Eugene, on the other hand, he's pretty fine, so I'm probably not going to worry too much about him. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Flashback Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, now, the purpose of this video was to kind of look at the 2010 packages. It wasn't really to look at the actual racers. Maybe I will do like a Flashback Friday on just all the Piston Cup racers from Cars 1 at one point. Maybe I'll do that, but that's going to be a bit of a bigger video. So, um... That's definitely not happening anytime soon. Like I said, I might do the Lizzie one still. That might, might be episode three. Mm, excuse me. Oh, I'm trying to think of anything else I could do. I don't have too many ideas right now, but I'm sure I can enlist the help of someone to help me think of some ideas. But yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed a look at the 2010 rubber tire um, packages. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Not sure what it's going to be or when it's going to be um, at the time of this recording. I'm recording this on October 11th. You will be seeing this way later than that. So it'll be October... I'm not really sure. I think October 23rd, maybe? I don't even know what date this is going to be on. I know it'll be a Friday in October. Just not anytime soon. Because I'm recording this on a Friday in October. But it's not going to be today. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Peace.